Hi everyone! On the last video, we saw the six different regular couplers of Organtech 2. Today, we are going to have a look at another type of couplers, the monophonic couplers. They let you reinforce while you play either the bass line or the melody line, and so they offer quite interesting registration possibilities. Let's have a look. Let's go. Okay, so for this video, I will use the preset experimental progressive. So a brief recap on the six couplers. They are here on the main view and on the jam view. So keyboard, keyboard shortcut G. They are here. Uh, their role is to link keyboards together. For instance, this one, the number four, lets you play the swell over the great. Without coupler. And with the coupler. The monophonic couplers are located here. These are the four little button switches here. And on the jam views, they are here. Monophonic swell, monophonic core, monophonic bass, and monophonic bass. Uh, the first two here are for the melody line, and the other two are for the bass line. Let them assign uh, these buttons to some uh, launchpad buttons with the command plus click midi on feature. So command click for this one. Command click here. Okay. Command click here. And command click here. So one. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's toggle. Oops. Okay, so my monophonic couplers are now well assigned to this launchpad. Let's start with the melody couplers. So, this one. You see? As the tooltip indicates, the monophonic melody swell coupler sent the highest note played on the grate to the swell. Let's try this out. So, activate. And for simple chords first, you see indeed that only the highest note of the chords is played on the swell. So I just have on the swell one stop that is activated and a very soft one. So let me just add some stops so we can hear its effect more clearly. For instance, yes, a uh, eight feet read and a four feet principal, for instance. Yes, exactly. If I play a melody on top on this chord, it is just then the melody. That is sent to the swell. Uh, if I play some accompaniment below the highest note, the accompaniment will not be taken into account by the monophonic coupler, for instance. Okay, note that if I release the highest note that he is currently played, the monocoupler will not switch to the next to the next highest note. So here, and I release, it will not switch. I play it again, and I release it, it will not switch. Except for legato, for instance. You can see that the overlaps between two notes and the release of the highest note is well behaved for playing purpose. An important information, the monophonic couplers are transitive. That means that they are automatically linked to any activated regular coupler. For instance, if I activate the octave coupler on the swell, it will be linked automatically to the swell monocoupler. So, you 
you see indeed that the swell now play both the note and the octave once again. Okay, uh, so the second melody coupler has exactly the same behavior except it sends the highest note played on the grate, not to the swell, but to the core. Let's try it out. Okay, so it is exactly the same. The two other are the bass couplers. They are exactly the symmetric of the melody couplers. They sent here the lowest note to the pedal, hence the name bass couplers. The first one, so lowercase b, sends the lowest note played on the grate only, and the other one, so the uppercase b bass coupler, sends the lowest note played on any manual, so the swell, the grate, and the core, to the pedal. Their behavior is the exact symmetrics, so let's try this out, for instance, for this one on the grate. You see indeed that it is only the bass, the bass note that is sent to uh, the pedal. And this coupler, the bass monophonic couplers, are actually the perfect tool if you do not have a pedal board at home and still want to play the pedal and it bass stops since they send only one note to the pedal, contrary to a regular coupler, for instance, that will send all the notes to the pedal, so it might result in a jumbled, mushy and all over the place sound. Uh, as a side note, they might also be quite useful for the lazy organist too. And using both the bath and the, both the bass and the monophonic couplers let you create a very nice soundscape. For instance, uh, let's have a 42 stop on the pedal. Okay guys, that's it for today for the monophonic couplers. On the next week video, we are going to have a look at the combinations of Organtech 2. How to load them, how to set them, how to save them. Until then, once again, do not hesitate to listen to some Organtech 2 audio demos on our website, modart.com. Cheers and see you next week.